This next condition, it may not warrant a visit to the emergency department, but it does cause a lot of pain. And right now I'm here with Dr. Philip Radovic in our procedure room with a patient who's about to have her ingrown toenail removed. And Sarah, yes. you've, you've dealt with ingrown toenail for a while now? Almost 10 years, yes. And in her case, this is not acute, but I can tell you, and Dr. Radovic, we were talking, an ingrown toenail, if completely ignored, can become acutely infected, Absolutely. can lead to a severe infection that could even get into the bone, sure. and it truly can become an emergency. Yeah, you could absolutely get osteomyelitis, cellulitis, if it's not taken care of. She's got a chronic one. It's been going on for a long time. She's yep. had it treated before a few times. Twice, yeah. But today I'm going to do a permanent correction called a matricectomy. And Sarah's numbed up for everyone watching. Numbed so. up. She's got a tourniquet on here. So what I'm going to do is free up the offending nail border. And you don't feel that, do you? Not at all. Good, good. And then I'm going to take this instrument, and I'm going to clip back just the offending border. Because an ingrown toe, is the toenail is literally grown in. It's, it's grown in. It's a lot of pain. And it acts like a foreign body. If you think of it like a sliver or something like that, or a thorn, if you can't get that out, it's just going to fester in there. Even if you put it on antibiotics, it'll still fester. And now I'm going to grab that nail. And Sarah, you feel fine, right? Yeah, Not, absolutely. Don't feel a thing. And the tourniquet's on there just for... It just looks gross. ...prevent bleeding. <laughs> and how do you decide, as you're taking that edge of the nail, how do you decide if you're going to remove the entire nail or just part of it like Just that. how much it's offending the border. See, she's got some skin impacted in there and stuff that's part of the problem. And I'm going to take that you off. okay, Sarah? Yeah, absolutely. So that's... And so there, now the offending border's got, and she's got this nice straight edge, and I'm going to put a little chemical back in there and kill the matrix cells, which are the cells that grow that, just that part of the nail. So when this heals up, it's going to look like that. It's just going to close up like that, and that nail should never grow back in there again. Well, how can people prevent this in the first place? Well, there's three main causes. One is, how do you cut your nails? You know, if really, you try and clip really it all yeah. the way down. You try and clip Sarah, it back in the corner, you no. won't get it all, and it'll get in there. Number two is hereditary. You can be born that way. That's just the way your nails grow. Right. And number three, shoe gear. Tight, high heels, pointy shoes, putting pressure of that skin right up into the nail. Very guilty. This isn't going to cause her a lot of pain once that numbing medicine wears off, right? No, she just a little elevation, maybe some Tylenol, and she should be fine for the rest of the day. Perfect. Great. Thank you, Sarah. Dr. Thank Radovic, you so thank much. you so very much. Thank you.